I used to watch Dick Morris all the time on Fox News going back, oh, five years ago, six years ago. And that was, I think, before the Obama election and or during the, I'm not sure exactly when it was. And I used to enjoy listening to Dick Morris. Uh, and something happened with, between him and Fox. I don't know whether it was Roger Ailes or whatever happened. He used to be on Bill O'Reilly all the time. So I'm going to, he's now got a lunch alert. He's got a daily broadcast. Uh, uh, Dick Morris does a Dick Morris report in the daily a lunch alert. And I'm going to start bringing some of his clips and videos uh, on the Manning Report every day. Uh, I don't always agree with what Dick Morris has to say, but I'm going to provide the Manning Report as a platform. And not just for him, but Bill O'Reilly, who also has a separate broadcast as well. So would you, Mr. Engineer, bring up clip number five? Michael Bloomberg's race for president reminds me very much of Henry VIII's race for king of England, <laughs> animated by a sense of divine right, by a sense that I'm put on earth to be king and I'm going to be king. He doesn't participate in the debates. He doesn't deign to engage with his opponents. He doesn't go through press conferences. He doesn't go through extensive interviews. All he does is write checks and give them to an ad agency that fashions them into commercials that puts them on television. Commercials which, by the way, are mainly distortions. For example, one of his big claims is that he extended health insurance to hundreds of thousands of children in New York City. Well, he did, but it had nothing to do with him. It was the child, it was CHIP, the Child Health Insurance Program, passed by Bill Clinton. I know, because I worked on passing it. And it was simply applied to all 50 states, and New York got its share, and Bloomberg's trying to take the credit for it. But nobody dares to criticize his ads, and the media doesn't really cover it because he's sort of an extraneous factor in the race. They're focusing attention on Buttigieg versus Klobuchar versus Sanders, whereas the real race is Bloomberg out in the wings. Now, he's going to have to come in from the cold for the first debate this week and a second debate next week. And certainly he's got his share of negatives piling up at the door. Uh, all the sexism and racism that people claim there is in Donald Trump, there isn't. But there is in Michael Bloomberg. And his record reeks of that kind of sexism and that kind of racism. So we'll see how he comes out of that. It's worth noting, by the way, that Donald Trump never tried to buy the election, even though he's as rich as Bloomberg. Trump spent $60 million on his campaign. Bloomberg is up to almost 400 million and probably will go through a billion in doing this. To put it into perspective, he's now spent twice as much as the next largest self-funder in political history. If this guy is allowed to buy the presidency, literally write out a check, take it to the bank, buy the ads and get elected and bypass everybody, this will be a sad, sad day in American history. Okay, all right, very well. All right, so I, I wanted to be able to, and, and Morris, you know, pretty smart guy, wouldn't you agree? And he talks about the child health care program initiated by, uh, by uh, Clinton um, and, and with Obama. Um, and now Bloomberg's trying to take credit for it. We're going to look more closely at Bloomberg. I don't have time today. I've got a really tight-packed uh, show today. Uh, but we'll get back to Dick Morris, and I don't have a clip right now from Bill O'Reilly, but we will get back um, to looking at more of what O'Reilly and, 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 and um, Dick Morris has to say. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man in the will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. 
And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.